everyone welcome back to my channel in this session i will be explaining on class 11 biology theory chapter wise weightage before we start this session do not forget to like share comment and subscribe my dear students class 11 exams are not too far if you want to prepare well according to the weightage difficulty medium and easy paper you have to focus on the things which I am going to explain. So let us start the session. My dear students, the question paper will be prepared on the objectives, the weightage as well as the marks. The objective will be knowledge, understanding, application and skill. The weightage given to the knowledge will be 40%. The weightage given to the understanding level will be 30%. The weightage given to the application will be 15% and weightage given to the skill will be 15%. Here, the marks allotted for knowledge-based questions will be 42 marks. The marks allotted for understanding-based questions will be 33 marks. The marks allotted for application-based will be 15 marks. And the marks allotted for skill-based questions will be 15 marks. Application-based questions will be little complicated, wherein skill-based will be diagrammatic or flowcharts. This is how a question paper will be prepared. Now let us discuss chapter-wise marks allotment and total marks which is given for the unit so that you can prepare well and score 70 out of 70. Let us start with the chapter number 1, Living World from the unit 1. The marks allotted will be 3 marks. Chapter number 2, Biological Classification as you can see on the screen. Marks allotted will be 2 marks. Chapter number 3, Plant Kingdom. Marks allotted here will be 5 marks. And chapter number 4, Animal Kingdom. Marks allotted from this chapter will be 7 marks. So from the unit 1, totally there are 4 chapters and total marks that has been allotted in the question paper, that is board examination will be 17 marks. Next moving on to chapter number 5, Morphology of Flowering Plants. The marks allotted here is 4 marks. Chapter number 6, Anatomy and Flowering Plants. The marks allotted here is 4 marks. Chapter number 7, Structural Organization in Animals. The marks allotted here is 7 marks. So totally from the unit 2, the marks allotted in the question paper will be 15 marks. Moving on to unit 3, that is chapter number 8, Cell, the unit of life. The marks allotted from this chapter is 8 marks. Chapter number 9, Biomolecules. Marks allotted from this chapter is 5. Chapter number 10, Cell Cycle and Cell Division. Marks allotted from this chapter is 5. So totally from Unit 3, 18 marks is been allotted in the question paper. Next, Unit number 4, that is Chapter number 11, Transport in Plants. The marks allotment given here is 6 marks. Chapter number 12, Mineral Nutrition. Marks allotted here is 6. Chapter number 13, Photosynthesis in Higher Plants. Marks allotted here is 5. Chapter number 14, Respiration in Plants. Marks allotted here is 5. Chapter number 15, Plant Growth and Development. Marks allotted here is 5. So from unit number 4, total marks allotted in the question paper will be 27 marks. Discussing about the last unit, that is unit number 5, there are 7 chapters in this unit 5. So, chapter number 16, digestion and absorption, 3 marks will be allotted. Chapter number 17, breathing and exchange of gases, 3 marks will be allotted. Chapter number 18, body fluids and circulation, 4 marks will be allotted. Chapter number 19, excretory products and their elimination. Three marks will be allotted in the question paper. Chapter number 20, locomotion and movement. Four marks will be allotted. 
chapter number 21 neural control and coordination 5 marks will be allotted chapter number 22 chemical coordination and integration 6 marks will be allotted so the overall weightage given from this unit number 5 that is having 7 chapters will be 28 marks my dear students the question paper will be prepared for 105 marks but you have to attempt for 70 marks because 30 marks will be for the practical examination kindly give more importance to unit 4 and unit 5 because as you can see on the screen it is having weightage of 27 and 28 marks now moving on to your question paper pattern you will be having totally four parts part a part b part c part d you can see on the screen the type of questions will be part a one mark very short answers part b two mark short answers part c three mark short answers part b five mark long answers in part d the mains will be section one and section two part a part b part c will not have any sections the number of questions to be set that is in your question paper part a will be having 10 questions part b will be having 8 questions part c will be having 8 questions part d section 1 will be having 5 questions section 2 will be having 5 questions the number of questions to be answered from part a the 10 questions one mark all of the questions you have to answer from part b eight questions will be asked that is for two marks but you have to answer only five from part c three mark questions eight questions will be given but you have to answer only five from part d that is section one and section two already i have told you they'll be giving five five questions but from section one you have to answer only four or any four from section two five questions will be given but you have to answer any three again i am repeating the questions will be asked according to the weightage of the chapter so all the units will be covered weightage to level of difficulty easy questions will be almost the weightage will be 40 percent and the marks allotted here will be a 28 average questions asked in the question paper will be again 40 percent and the marks allotted here will be 28 difficult questions will be always given less so the weightage given here is 20 percent and the marks allotted for difficult questions will be 14 percent i hope this session was useful from this session you're going to prepare well and score well all the best my dear students for the coming exams do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.